Our first guest tonight hosts the Emmy and Peabody award-winning show, A Last Week Tonight, which airs Sunday nights on HBO and streams on HBO Max. Please welcome back to the show our good friend, John Oliver, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, no. No. You love this, though. I do. I you do. love applause I, and attention. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I, I was this close to leaving half as a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, was, I feel very lucky to see you here. I saw you last week at yeah. the Emmys. Congratulations on your victory. Thanks very much. Also, Thanks. congratulations. I feel like you had, uh, the award was presented to you by uh, Selena Gomez, Martin Short, and Steve Martin. That's yes. a very nice trio to get it from. Definitely, yeah, I kind of, when they came out, they'd said, our award is next. Uh, and it did seem like, this must be a mistake. They're not gonna <laughs> slum it in best variety show, are they? <laughs> and then they did, yeah, it was amazing. My, my wife's favorite movie is Clifford. Yeah. So to get an award from Clifford is yeah. about as happy as she's by been the way, with me for I five think years. Based on the reaction to you saying that, <laughs> I think it might only be her favorite yeah. movie. Yeah. Because <laughs> I that's a Martin Short film where Martin Short plays a child named yeah, Clifford. It's really good. It's yeah. really good. It's really good. And and even though even though we're both selling it really hard, you can feel an innate sense of I don't think. <laughs> There's, there's no curiosity in the room of, oh, watch that tonight. It's just, nope, this is another thing that I will Just do miss. us a favor. Just do yeah. it. It's not a giant commitment. Watch the yeah. trailer on YouTube of Clifford. Yeah. Starring Martin Short. And then, when you get to the end of it and think, not for me, remember, it yeah. is really good. Yep. To be honest, I've just come here to sell Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> I just this don't think enough thing. people... You're plugging old films. Yes, that's yeah. right. I just don't think enough people have seen Clifford. <laughs> so, do we have a clip? Uh, <laughs> You've got to tell us ahead of time if you want a clip. I'm so oh, sorry. That's how it works? I thought you could just say, do you have a clip, and they Google it quick. <laughs> Give them time, maybe by the end. Yeah, sure. So, what about... Do you enjoy being at the Emmys? No. Yeah. Not at all, no. Uh, no, it would have been nicer to see you literally anywhere else on Earth. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's what America does best in a way that it's pageantry. Yeah. It's like, it's like a royal funeral without a dead queen. In okay, this. well. <laughs> you know what I like about you? You know what I like the most about you? You bring your own segues. Now, John. <laughs> You were, the last time you were here was yes. a couple of days after uh, Prince Philip had passed away. That's right, and yes. now, obviously, you're here on the day of, of the Queen's funeral. Am, and you're yeah. sort of our, our royal correspondent by fate more than anything that's else. Right, that's right, that's right. How are you, how are you taking it all in? Thanks, thanks, Steph. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, it's a difficult, it's a difficult day, Craig. You're, you're from the UK, right? I am, yeah. Sorry, sorry for our loss. <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't know her. <laughs> Wait, you guys promised me Craig knew her. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, basically, whenever a senior royal dies, I will come here, just click, <laughs> click your heels three times, and I will be here to give it the disrespect it deserves. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. It's been a very weird time in mm -hmm. Britain. This 10 days in forced mourning apparently has been very, very strange. Yes, I'm one of the... We were talking about this at the Emmys, because we're both uh, uh, football fans. So yes. I should clarify, we're talking about soccer, which yes. was, they did not play any of those games for, or they... Uh, they didn't, they, 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 kept, they kept rugby and cricket was allowed to go ahead, <laughs> and football had to stop in an act of, I think, tangible class warfare. <laughs> Because of uh, the fan bases of those three I mean, sports? it's hard to, they, they will say it was for other reasons, but I think it was probably that. Yeah. I think they were, they were concerned about how football fans would respond to a minute's silence, and maybe they would not be able to go the whole minute. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the, it's the interesting thing. It's always like the question in their mind is always, well, will they behave, not why might they not? There's no... <laughs> There's no, no introspection or follow-up for, well, why might they decide to editorialise that question? Yeah. Yep. And then oh, there's also the likelihood of, of maybe a chant or two, or a song that could happen. That's right, we do, we do love a song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been a very weird 10 days. I think they had in Morrison's, the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, a, a hashtag ad, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'm here to promote Clifford the movie and a low-grade British supermarket. <laughs> Apparently, they lowered the sound of the beeps at the checkout out of respect for the Queen dying. Well, she did. She hated, she hated beeps. She hated beeps. 
<laughs> as if someone would have gone in, heard the regular people say, have some <laughs> respect. <laughs> She's lying, state. <laughs> As is tradition, a quieter beep <laughs> is appropriate. I can't believe there was a way to have the beep be quieter this whole time. I, I knew, well, at first I thought that cannot be true. They can, they can mute the beeps, they choose not to. Yeah. Yeah. So, Again, that's the crime here. That's right. And after, after Charles becomes king, the beeps will return. <laughs> so Double, twice as loud. Unnecessarily <laughs> loud volume, yeah. It's been a stupid you were, crime. Uh, uh, you were offered... Uh, the the Order of the British Empire, the OBE. I was. I guess. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and that must be a very interesting call to receive. It is. It's a, it is. It is a call. They called up and they said this was before I got my citizenship here in uh, America. And so you know, as any immigrant on a visa or green card, your immigration status is a perpetual anxiety for you. They I, they left a message saying that you need to call the British consulate immediately, which doesn't sound like unless you're Jason Bourne and. <laughs> Physically and emotionally, I just am not. Uh, uh, I, thought, I thought it was something really bad. And then he, this guy picks up the phone and says, I am here with a letter from the Queen in front of me. And it's, it, it, his, it, it was so offensively English, his accent. I didn't think, I don't think you're allowed to do this. <laughs> yeah, and he, he said, uh, I'm here to say that you're on the New Year's honours list. And I knew what was coming. I, I, I don't think I want this. He went, don't answer now. And I said, I just did. I said... <laughs> I said, I don't want it. Uh, and uh, so he said, I'll call back tomorrow. And he did. I said, yeah, my answer hasn't changed. I really, I really don't want this. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a loaded OBE. Yeah. Is a lo the BE part of that <laughs> is a hell of a thing to want after your surname. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't. And he, sa he, said, <laughs> he said, please don't tell anyone. I said, I am telling everybody <laughs> I know. <laughs> but that is, let's just be clear. <laughs> I have made no... Pro if I'm making a promise, I'm breaking it instantly. <laughs> the moment this phone goes down, I'm calling people. I bet, they, obviously, based on his reaction, it probably doesn't happen often that people turn him down. I think, I think it probably happens all the time. Yeah. I just think it's not then people that just say, I have to tell people that this was <laughs> a very funny conversation. You had... A, my, I... my wife was mad, though, because she wanted to go to Buckingham Palace. I had to kind of explain to her, listen... There's a class system in England. It's not, this is stuff, it's not important for you to know this, but I really can't go there and behave. <laughs> you did have a joke censored by, I guess your show yes. airs on Sky yes. over there. Yeah, they And uh, not really a, a joke. censorable joke. It was, I don't, it wasn't really a joke. It barely had the prophecy, but all, all we said was that Britain is still mourning the shocking loss, right, of a 96 year old woman from natural cause. <laughs> It's not, it doesn't, it's not li literally not a joke. Right? Scientifically, that's <laughs> yeah. not a joke. That's just a just... fact with a kind of dickish inflection. That's all it is. <laughs> and yet, they, they cut it out. Wow. Which is pretty because <laughs> ap apparently, all we've heard all week is that the Queen had an incredible sense of humour. So... <laughs> just Are non-stop. Oh, she was Are so funny. <laughs> Seth, she was so funny. The Queen said, razor sharp. <laughs> she loved... She, she dreamt of going to the Del Clogs Marathon. Yeah. Big comedy fan. I, I, I will say I've watched a lot of anecdotes of people saying yeah. uh, she was so funny, yes. and then they tell a story, and it, you, when it ends, you go, eh. Yeah, all that clip. <laughs> all that clip. It's like constantly in the clip. Oh, and there she was with Paddington. You're like, I'm, we're watching two, I'm watching a bear carry her comedically <laughs> in that scene. <laughs> She's giving that bear nothing back. <laughs> there is one set of footprints in the sand, and it's a paw. <laughs> But she, but she was a huge comedy fan. Huge she comedy really fan. Did. And like the good, like, yeah, the state. She loved the state. She, <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to live to see Mulaney's tour. That was the thing, but she didn't. Why is that the thing? Ask yourself why that was yeah, your life. And then let us know. <laughs> John Oliver, 